I'm ready. Hold on. All right. So, which players um, who are on this on this list do you predict will be All SEC by the end of 2023? Let's go with like five. Javante Spragans. Okay. I mean, how can you not start with Joe Milton? Milton wasn't on the list, was he? He's not. What? Joe? What I just re- I just realized that. I mean, we talked about him in every <laughs> yeah. category, though. But yeah, he uh, really what? He really was not on that list. I've yeah. got that is freaking crazy. That's crazy. I've got Javantes as well. I've got Joe as well. Um, who's some other ones y'all got? I like Deontay Thornton, our new uh, wide receiver transfer in. You know, I've got Dante too. Um, he's he's they said. I mean, he's he's just as fast as as high. Probably maybe a little faster. He's like five inches taller, you know. Mm-hmm. He's a. We we mentioned him just a few minutes ago, but if if something happens with Jalen Wright, we got Javari Small right behind him. So, you took you took my next one. We got that one two punch at running back. I've got um, I've got Ramel Keaton on here. I think Ramel Keaton. Nah, that's a good one. That's four four wide receivers that we can put on the All ACC um, list. Yeah, I mean it's an awesome problem to have. And my fifth one is Nico. No, well, re- the only reason I put Nico is. If it's not Joe, um, give Nico the ball, baby. And I think whoever is Josh Apple's quarterback is going to be putting up some massive numbers. We'll know by Florida. Yeah. yeah. So, But I got full confidence in Joe right now. I do Joe too. or Nico will be all SEC. I can't argue that any. You know, you, you, I know you only wanted five, but I added a couple more names. Oh, uh, you know, uh, if he, if – you know, legal issues don't don't rear their ugly head. Jalen McCullough should have a breakout year this year. I agree uh, with that. Uh, I, I look for big things from him. And the transfer from BYU, I think it's Philly Keegan at linebacker. Oh, Peely. Yeah, Peely. Peely yeah, yeah. Keenan, uh, Keenan, Keenan mm-hmm. Peely. Yeah, he. I think we he, talked about him a few weeks ago. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be elite. I think. Um, I think he was like their leading tackler for a couple of years. He was like two or three time team captain. We're certainly glad to have some depth there on our defensive line. Yeah, we needed yeah. the the depth. Yeah, we needed the uh, experience too, just because we're mm-hmm. so young. Um, so, if you could change one of four of these games.